Hello everyone, this is Camino. Today we are presenting you the new NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 Ti. We finally got it. I know we are not the first one, but I think it is better late than never. So, talking about the card. The card itself it is Gigabyte Gaming OC version. It has the same memory as 3090, 24 gigs of VRAM. It has slightly higher clock rate, it's uh, around 2000 MHz. The main difference between the two cards, 3090 and 3090 Ti, it is power consumption. The maximum power consumption of 3090 Ti is 480 watts. Nvidia require you to have at least 850 watts power supply. You know, it is huge, it is big. All right, talking about the card itself. The card itself, it is huge, it is enormous. It is just, I don't know, it is uh, the size of your computer case itself, as for me. Because when you are comparing this card to 3090, it is turbo version of Gigabyte GeForce RTX 3090, it is just a little tiny, I don't know, dwarf, maybe, maybe dwarf. So, this card is big. This card is three and a half slot thick. It will occupy, I think, the half of your computer case spacing, as for me. It is justified because it has a very big uh, air cooling uh, solution. And uh, this air cooling helps this card to stay really cool. This card, its maximum load, it is, has 60 degrees Celsius of maximum uh, temperature, with the fans working at 100%. Right, to power this card up, you need to use this power adapter. This power adapter, it is triple, triple eight pins connector. Uh, in order to work this card properly, you need to use all three of them. Uh, because when you use just not three, they, it, uh, this card won't work. The card is massive, not only in its sizes, but it is, it weights two kilograms. In order to install it in your computer case, you need to have a VGA holder, which Gigabyte provides you, but now we unfortunately don't have it. And the final thing, it is price. The price of this card is $2,000. I think it is uh, not the choice of average gamer, and uh, this card is not for gaming itself. I think this card is more for enthusiasts or for guys who are doing through their modeling and rendering. All right, enough talking about specification. Now it is time to tear it down. The, we like to do it in Camino, to tear down big, huge and expensive cards. Let us proceed to the car's disassembly. The disassembly process is pretty basic. There was no difficulty for me to strip it down. Now, behold the socket board of the most powerful GeForce card. As you can see, the board is much smaller than its monstrous air cooler. The PCB design resembles the one of 3090 Founders Edition. Now to the GPU. The GPU is NVIDIA's MP GA102-350. It has 256 CUDA cores more than 3090. It runs at 2 GHz core clock, which is faster than its predecessor. Now jumping to the memory. There we have 24 gigs of GDDR6 memory from Micron. The number of memory modules is reduced to 12 in comparison to 3090, where we had 24 of them. The memory is placed on the front panel of the board. It's good news for us, because now it will be easier to keep it cool. There are 18 phases to power the GPU and 3 phases for the memory modules. The DDR MOSFETs in each phase are capable of providing a current rate of 6 amperes. As I said before, there are no memory on the back panel anymore, so now they won't be overheating. Alright, today we showed you what this card has under the hood. Now we are ready to develop our own water block for this RTX 3090 Ti. So, stay tuned and you will see it first. Subscribe to our channel, see you again.